This is a multi-part series about consuming services on Windows Phone. Today we're going to take a look at pulling web data using the Web Client class. Applications on Windows Phone are isolated. You must either bring the data with, it, with your app when it's installed or pull it from the web. To pull it from the web, we'll have to use some classes and protocols. Only communication protocols applications can use on Windows Phone are HTTP and HTTPS. Windows Phone Mango will offer socket, sockets. We don't have that right now, so we're going to hit websites using HTTP, HTTP and pull back some data. Web Client is a wrapper meant to simplify using HTTP web requests. We'll, rec we'll cover HTTP web requests in more detail in another session. Web Client will call out to a URI and pull the results back as a string. Web Client does run on the primary UI thread and is a blocking call, so watch that. Let's take a look at the web client in action. Here is the project we'll be digging into. Uh, basically, go out here. I'm going to call to msdnmicrosoft.com, and I'm simply going to get the web page back in HTML format. Go off, call web client, shows it running, comes back. There's the contents of the MSDN web page. So what kind of web client code does it take to wire this up? We come in here, and we have a basic XAML layout page, nothing fancy on there. Uh, basically, there's the URL we're going to call. Come over in the code, a few key things. Uh, first, we have a global instance of the web client sitting there. When the page initializes, we can come in here and we've got a download stream completed equals the new download uh, handler. Uh, something interesting you can do instead of uh, having to copy all this around is if you come out here and you go. Uh, uh, mywebclient.downloadStreamCompleted plus equals and then tab you see it creates a new handler for you and will actually generate stub methods and stuff so save yourself some effort uh, when the button comes in and we click we actually go off and we call the web clients download string async and basically we give it the URI it will go off process the download when it's done it comes back into our callback handler that we set up up here. When the callback handler comes up in the download string event args, uh, what we've got in here, uh, easy way to see that's e dot, we can see we got e dot result. Uh, so uh, when e dot result comes in, we can basically we basically have the full contents of anything that's up there. We pull that in. Uh, we'll dump it out using debug. Just uh, was help helping me trace some stuff, and then uh, we also push it out to the text block. Nothing fancy, very easy to use uh, and to wire up. Web Client has some definite positive aspects. Compared to HTTP Web Request, which we'll see later, it's very easy to wire up. It's also very easy to process the results. On the negative side, it does block the main UI thread when returning. This limits our actions while web calls are executing. A download of the code from this demo is available at http whack whack www.devfish.net whack downloads whack files whack wp7garage2.zip. During the next session, we'll cover the basics of HTTP web requests. Thanks for listening. My Twitter's at DevFish. I'm Joe Healy, and I hope you see some great Windows Phone 7 applications out of you soon.